All right, Lyle, so I'm going to make a little video for you rather than all the screenshots. But basically, I've just logged into the back end of your website and I'm on the dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add media or it, more specifically a PDF for your files that you can use to actually sell on your shop. So you're going to come down here to media, add new, pretty simple. You need to have the file. I like to drag and drop, but you can select the file. I have the, uh, I'm the tattletale of the family ready to go. Oops. Here we go. We're going to choose that. We're going to let that upload. Now it's here for us. So we're going to come back to that later. Um, you can also add pictures here, but I like to add the pictures in individual posts. So let's, uh, let's first create a product. So if you come here to your products, WooCommerce is where you can keep track of your orders. See, we already have two orders on there because I placed two practice orders. But go to product, add product. This is a product test. Just leave this area blank. Right here, the first thing you want to do is you want to click downloadable. Uh, if, if it's a CD, you're going to leave that unchecked and you're going to just fill in the prices here. But for the, we're just going to do the download. So regular price would be $2.99, but I'm going to leave it at zero so that I'd be able to test it. Um, so then you come down here to add file. Tattle. Oops. Tattle tale of the family. Choose file. And then that file that we just uploaded is right here. We're going to go ahead and insert that. And then that's all that we need to do unless you want to add, add a, hey buddy, description. Oops. Book. Baby. Go get him. If you want to add a picture, you'll set that here at the product image. So let's go ahead and just add this little guy as the product image. And then we're going to publish. And then while that's publishing, we're going to pull up random dime music guy. We're going to go to shop. You see what's there. There it is. This is a product test free. So let's click on it. Um, add description here if you want. We're just going to do one, add to cart, then we click on our cart and just proceed to check out. I got all my stuff, it preloads for me. Um, but normally people would add their email if they have special notes. I don't know why they would have special notes, but I have that there just in case. And then we're going to place the order. There we go. Now I'm going to go check my email. See, I've got a bunch of emails there, but basically, um, this is the, this is the one that the customer will receive. It has their billing address and everything and then download Tattletale of the Family. So all that I do is I click that baby and it automatically starts downloading and and pops up for me here. Tattletale of the Family. So close that, close this, and then we'll go back to here. Um, if you need to change anything, like here we can go ahead and I'll leave it at zero so that you can test it too. Um, but you can, oh, but the one thing I did forget, you need to, you need to mark this down the limit as one and then update that. And then the last thing I want to show you is adding a post. Uh, you know how to do this, but we're just going to do test post. Um, click this fusion page builder. I've set this up for you almost as that template that we talked about. Um, it, it, it's pretty straightforward. You want to add a full width container and you, everything is held in here. So then you click on elements and then we'll go ahead and add a picture. So there's an image frame here. And 
you scroll down to image, there are other settings that you can deal with that uh, if, if you really want to. So we'll add an image here. Save. Preview this. And there you go. So we've got this image in this post. Now, if you want to add a video, just click on YouTube and drag it down. We'll stick it right underneath. And you need to find the video ID. So let's go to YouTube real quick and we'll grab some video here. Um, frozen. Pause that. So the video ID is the last, is all the letters and numbers bef after the equal sign. So we'll go ahead and copy that and then go back to our post and paste it. Now, I like to use, here's a little trick. If you come here, then you can check out, uh, click share, embed, show more, and then you can see the suggested video size. So 853 by 480. 853 by 480. You can change that to however you want. You can even make it autoplay, which is really annoying, so I would never do that. Well, sometimes you might want to, but uh, but that's it. So then you can preview it, and you can see that the video is right there, and it'll play right inside. But what I don't like is that there's no... Um, there's uh, th these are too close together right and so what you'll do is you'll come and you can add separators so grab the separator put it in between and then you just need to add the pixels so we'll do 20 pixels oops by 20 pixels save that and then you can see the difference that that's made and that'll separate them up for you so well it's not a set exact template Everything's set the way that it needs to, and you just need to add your content. Um, so if you want to add text after or in between or wherever you want it, you can add the text box. And let's just right here, click this, add to edit, click this, click edit button to change this text. Or you just highlight it, and um, this is where some text would go. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it in a few more times just to add some more filler and text. So save that. Um, I'd like to put, let's see, does it have, see it has the title here. So I might want to have before this video, I'm going to put a title and I'm going to put in here, all caps, frozen is the bomb. The bomb. You know what? And I want that centered. Let me show you how to center that. So it's just here at the top center. Boom. Save. Nice and simple. It's, you know, you might have to take a little bit to get used to, but it's going to show you. So here's your text. Frozen is the bomb. So if I were going to do this, well, I'll just do it. I, I want some space here and I want some space here. Okay. So Go to the separator again, put it in between, and this one I only want uh, about 10 pixels, and then 10 pixels. And then I want the same thing here. You know, something cool is you can actually click here to copy, so we got the exact same thing that we just made down here for between the title of Frozen and the video itself. So there you go. You've got it spaced out the way that I like. And and there are more options down here. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see all the different page options. So um, one thing that you are going to want to do, and let's do this here, is you want to set the feature image. This is what shows up on your blog. So let's go real quick to random. And we'll click on, oh, this is your blog here. So th these images, those are feature images. So if you want that, let's go back here and we're going to set feature image to that same image that we have, which was the, uh, this one, add the image 
and we'll just go ahead and publish that. And that way we can go back to the blog, which you need to, you need to grab a logo. You need to make a logo and then I can show you how to put that up. Um, but any, anyway, so we'll just go back to the home page to check out the blog and see if that's there. Oh, there we go. Test post. This is a post and then you can click it and it'll open up to you however you want. Oh, see, so look at this. So it has the feature image on top. So you could either delete the one that you first added or what I'm gonna do is show you how to customize it. It's real simple. Disable first image, yes. Update. Let's refresh that. And there we go. Just has one now. And you can click on previous. If you read through some things, I mean, you can see the different, uh, you can see different ways to um, customize and edit things and, and, and things like that. So uh, yeah, that's it.